Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so I clawed my way down and back into the 800s. So, yeah, it feels bad for me. <laughs> I lost a couple games on some one or two bad moves. <coughs> oh well. London system. I'm going to try playing the anti-London system today. I always seem to have a hard time against uh, Bishop G7 in the London system, so I'm just going to try it myself. See if I can make it work. There's a few concepts that always make my London games kind of difficult, so I'm going to try them. I'm going to make 95 difficult for him. I'm also really tempted to just try to take his uh, dark square bishop because it's going to force him to open up the h file and then he can't castle kingside. <laughs> These are all the things that I don't like happening to me in the London system. <laughs> the anti-London build. Yeah, the last game that I played, um, I made one blunder, and then I, uh, the opponent just played really well, and I wasn't able to find uh, any combinations of moves that were going to bring me back, were going to resuscitate me. A bit rough, but what can you do? Yeah, I'm just going to go harass his dark square bishop. I, I, I want to trade the bishop off for the knight on g3 here. Yeah. And then I'm probably going to castle queen side here. Um, and the other thing that I don't like is, um, I've had varying success when opponents play d7. Let's go f5. might offer the trade here. We'll see. Probably c5 going after his d4 pawn here. I want to get my queen out so I can go harass this pawn here. Wants to offer the trade. I want to pin his knight. Still doesn't have e5. I think the big idea with this setup here is just planting the pawn on d6 to prevent e5. I think this d6 pawn is really valuable. He kind of has this square here. So I almost wonder if it's worth it to go bishop f6 here.
I'm actually just going to try that. Hmm. Which is E4. It's got one, two, F3. Just want to prevent G5. There's no threats here. C6 next, maybe? Yeah, I'm trying to do all the things that Londoners don't like. That London system players don't like. Block in with a knight. It's kind of an interesting idea. Yeah, getting the knight onto a better square is kind of interesting here. You can't push that with a pawn. It's a bad idea. I kind of don't want to push the pawn in case I castle queen side. I think I'm just going to block in, maybe go attack his queen here. Castle's queen side. It's really interesting. Well, start throwing everything at the queen. <laughs> queen side. <laughs> you can throw everything at the queen while we're at it too, though. Maybe I should castle queen side too. Need to be worried about this rook threat. The rook is eyeing the queen, so just something, something to remember. I need him to make a mistake. Uh, 
uh, trade off. Hmm. I don't really want to trade off. Can I threaten his queen some more? Hmm. I don't know. I kind of want to save my, my minor pieces here. I'm going to go threaten the queen some more over here. Actually, I have the nice skewer here. If I go a4. Knights def or, yeah, the knight's defending a4. If he moves his queen back, I... I win his, uh, oh shoot, I need to be careful. He has check here. Uh, I kind of failed to notice that. Eh. He can totally get this F pawn. I don't know if he's going to notice it or not, but yeah, it's a bit annoying. Uh, I kind of failed to recognize that. Ah. Yeah, I didn't see that. I think it's okay, though. He just runs away, but I still get the rook. If he doesn't move his queen. Yeah, I should I should have seen that. That was that was a blunder. Probably would have been better to just trade off there on c4. Whoops. Yeah, his knights are very inactive. Good for me. Yeah, I'm just trying to be annoying this round. I'm trying to shut down his ideas. Only reason I'm doing that is because I noticed that when you play the London, there's like specific ideas that you go for. And if you can't get to those ideas, it makes the game kind of frustrating. At least that's what I've experienced when every time I play the London system, which is every time as what uh, every time I play as white. <laughs> so I'm trying to just play like some psychological games here too. Yeah, Bishop A4 is going to be really strong here. I think he's going to move his queen. No, if he moves his queen, I win the bishop, so. Yeah, anywhere he moves his queen, I, I get his bishop. So I'm going to come out ahead. Let's look at the board from his perspective. What could he really play? I don't know, maybe like Pawnee 4 or something. Or just start advancing these pawns here. Belgium? Belgium. No, but let's keep looking at the board from his position. <laughs> He moves it back. He tries to go after the pawn. Let's think about this. Oh, I'm willing to give up a pawn for a rook, so. Nice little tactic here. A little skewer. I don't find these too often. I think he's trying to remove the defender from b7. 
Because I could have I could have taken with the knight here, but I think this bishop a4 is more valuable. And I'm just losing a pawn here, so. And he's forced to take that. I could lose a pawn here. I think it's still better. I mean, honestly, I could just protect this pawn as well. I don't think there's anything wrong with just protecting the B pawn. Hmm. I guess if I do this, I can't castle queen side. That's the only problem. How much do I care about this pawn, though? Even if I offer the queen trade here, I'll still be fine. Let's think. And then I'll still be up a knight, too. Hmm. Let me think. So I'm going to get three. He's going to get one. I'll still be up three points <laughs> after everything is said and done. I mean, if he wants to put the queen here, I don't know. I think he's kind of overextending. Plus, that allows me to get my queen out on the on the B file. Decides not to go for that. I can attack his queen again. I want to give myself the option of castling queenside if I really need to. Just go let the queen breathe, I guess. <clears throat> Offering the trade here just seems fine, too. Trade off. Me. It's a very weak square. Or uh, I guess the knight is loose here on e4. That's what I'm trying to say. He has mate here. Can I not? Oh, right. I've already moved my king. Shoot. He's got mate. Hmm. How do I prevent this?
I could always just move over. <laughs> Better to move over or just... Uh, I think it's okay for now. H6 next. Pick his knight. Forgot I moved my king. Whoops. Might go something like d4 next, or excuse me, d5. Um, so I can get rid of this pawn and then start checking him this way. It's going to force his knight. Uh, where's his knight going to go? Yeah, it's going to force his knight probably back to something like d2. Some uncomfortable square like d2 for the knight. Check. Okay. No. If I go this way, I get forked. If I go this way, well, I can always just block in with the queen. Yeah, these are annoying moves. I don't want to get forked here. Maybe I don't care, actually. I'm going to be winning it back with my knight, but then he's going to get the b7 pawn. I think my safer bet is just to go back here and offer the queen trade. Yeah. Also, I think I should have went f7 there. Hmm. That's where I'm regretting not castling. I know he'll try to attack the rook here, but I don't, I don't really care about that too much. I'd rather get his knight. Oh, I see, I see, I see. It's okay. I'm still winning this knight in this pawn, so... And I can just gobble them up backwards this way. What a weird game. <laughs> what a weird game so far. Yeah, I tend to do really poorly against uh, white d4 openings. So that's kind of why I'm having a strange time here. Yeah, I saw that coming, but I can win your knight. I mean, he can trade knights off here too, but I don't know if it's very good. I need to be careful about getting checked on the back rank and then losing my rook here. That's going to be like catastrophic.
or even now. Dang. Can't protect this pawn anymore. It's, well, this pawn is protected actually. Yeah, he can't he can't take b7 yet. His pawns are much better than mine. Fortunately, I can start scooping him up, but What a funny game. <laughs> I can't get over it. Really tempted to go bishop h6 here, pin this pawn. And then start scooping these up. Hmm. Nice move there. Hmm. I have a check, but I lose that pawn. I don't think it's worth it. I want to bring the king to safety. the best way to do that. <clears throat> also, running the pawn up the board would be kind of funny. I do have the check here. Doesn't really accomplish anything though. <clears throat> I don't know how he gets to this queen. I think his best bet is just to run try to run a pawn down the board too. I really, really slipped this game, but I'm trying to just kind of be hyper defensive here. Yeah. I figure if I can just get my rook out into the back rank, I'll be like in good shape here. I don't know what this pawn's going to do. Yeah, because if he takes this pawn, I'm just bringing the rook to the back rank. And then it's going to be GG from there. I think. I hope. It'd be kind of fun to win on time, too. I'm protecting this pawn with, like, all my strength. Now I'm losing this pawn. Oh, no, I'm not. There we go. 
Yeah, see, this is the reason why I wanted to get this bishop out of the way, was just so the, uh, the rook and the king can communicate. I don't think this queen has enough firepower back here. Yeah, I mean, I'm still just going to run this up. I mean, I think he should have taken that, but it's just me. And he's probably looking for a trap here. I'm just going to try to promote. If he, he can only protect with the rook, and then I'm just going to take it with the queen. Or probably the other rook. Or the rook, rather. Yeah, I think he should have taken that pawn. He's going to push this pawn, then I'm going to get trapped. Oh, wait, oops, 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 oops. Probably look for check at this point. But how do I do this sensically? Watch this. <laughs> I think that's the move. I'm, I'm really glad I noticed that last second. I almost didn't notice that. Should just be promoting here. <laughs> a rook and a bishop versus all these pawns <laughs> can be really hard to win. Um, I can still promote here. What's he really going after? Well, I'm just going to try to get another queen on the board. I ain't going to think twice about that. Um, I mean, this is a check. I can always run my queen this way, too. This is pretty funny. How does he get out of this? <laughs> it has to go here, right? And then I have here. And I can trap him in, basically. <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. This is going to be the funniest mate of my life. He has to block with that, right? But then I have this. <laughs> I don't think he can get out. <laughs> B1? Right? B1, how does he get out? Because, yeah, these two squares are attacked. I think B1 is just mate. No. What did I miss here? What did I miss? Where can his king go? Oh. <gasps> no, I blundered that. Oh, sh I blundered, no. Please move your king. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. 
His queen could have taken, bro. <laughs> Mate. Let's think. Taken, taken, taken. Once I go here, boom, 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 boom. Unreal. Unreal. I want to go back to that last frame. I want to see if taking with the queen there would have done anything for him. Even then. Yeah, even then he's forced to run somewhere and then I can just win his rook. Oh man, that was wild. That was, that was wild. That was something. Yeah, he, he, he missed. He missed h3 there. What was the move here? I had maiden. I had maiden one here. Where was maiden one? Ah, queen g2. Ah, there it was. Right. Okay. Well, that was a good one. Let me just look, uh, see where I blundered here. So bishop d5 was a blunder. Oh, no, 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 that was him, right? Could I really have played anything else here? Yeah, so I blundered. What? Okay, so I should have just taken the knight, so he couldn't have taken this f pawn, right? And then we're still pretty even. Yeah, so I should have just initiated the trade here in this position. It would have been still even. And then this f-pawn would have been safe. Right, that was a really good move by him, f7. But then, yeah, he just didn't see the skewer. And then once I was able to get one of his rooks off the board, it was pretty straightforward. Okay, so moving the knight back was the idea. Queen e8. Oh yeah, maybe just offering the queen trade here would have been the play. And then if he didn't take the trade, well, I could have taken the pawn, but... I mean, he could have gone like a3 and protected it or something. But let me see what the... Oh, big continuation there. Well, either case... Yeah, I felt like this king g8 was super important because if I had gone, where was it? I wanted to prevent getting forked, right? So I think if I went e8 here, yeah, I would have gotten forked much worse. And I wanted to keep the rook and the king sort of as close to each other as I could. Right? Because boom, boom. Now this is just very bad. How is this so bad for him? Hmm. Wait, hold on. Wait, what was I thinking? Why didn't I just... Oh, I could have taken this knight. Interesting, but he would have taken the pawn. Ah, I see. So this was kind of a happy accident. It was kind of a um, broke a luck. Honestly, that, that wasn't on purpose. Yeah, so he takes the queen. Now I can't take this knight back. And then this valuable pawn is also protected too. Yeah, and then he takes my knight um, here. So I, I would have had to have pushed up here. Yeah, he would have been winning. Um, Well, no, he just would have been winning a knight. Right, because like, what do I do here? Knight b5. Yeah, so he wins a pawn. Queen e4, knight takes. Maybe it's not too bad, actually. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. We're back in the 900s again. That's pretty exciting. Um, Yeah, I'm not playing my best today, so I'm going to call it for chess today. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching, and see you in the next one.